So let's suppose I flip this coin six times in a row. Which of these two outcomes seems less likely to occur to you? Option one, heads, 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 and heads. Or option two, heads, tails, tails, heads, tails, heads. Which one seems less likely to occur? Probably you think that first outcome is much less likely to occur because it seems weird to get heads six times in a row. But if you think about it for a second, you realize that that second sequence of kind of alternating heads and tails is a unique sequence. It's just that there's nothing terribly distinctive about it so it doesn't feel special. Both of those two outcomes are equally likely, even though that first one felt really weird. That's because there's 64 unique ways to flip a coin six times in a row, meaning two to the sixth power. There's two outcomes each time times six flips. That means there's a one over 64 chance that I get heads yeah. six times in a row. And there's a one over 64 chance that I got the exact weird sequence of heads Whoa. and tails that I gave you as our second option. But still that second one feels much more like the outcome of a random process, doesn't it? Actually, we human beings are terrible randomizers. And this is a well-documented reality that has some pretty weird consequences. As early as 20 years ago, people built AI rock, paper, scissors bots that could totally beat humans after playing for a few minutes. And the reason is, if I'm playing rock, paper, scissors with you, I might pick rock, and I'll pick rock again. And I might even be so clever as to pick rock a third time. But probably after that, I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't pick rock again. Because that doesn't feel very random, does it? But in reality, picking rock a fourth time in a row should just be a one-third probability, which should happen sometimes. And yet, something to us as humans doesn't feel very random about that, so we don't like to do it. Well, the AI bots, they don't have that hang-up. So they pick up on the patterns that you or I would play with, and over time, they beat the snot out of us at rock, paper, scissors, because they can tell when we think we're being random, but we really aren't. Now, here's another weird example. Let's say you've got a 100-song playlist, and five of those songs are by the Beatles. Well, when you use Spotify or whatever other music app you might use to shuffle or randomize the list, you probably don't want to hear the Beatles songs five times nope. in a row, when in reality, that is exactly a possibility that can happen with randomness. It's just like getting heads six times in a row. And because the people at Spotify know that that doesn't feel random to us, they intentionally make their shuffle algorithm work in such a way that you don't get lots of repeats by the same artist again and again. They want the shuffle to feel random. They use a decidedly non-random process oh. to make it happen. Now, if you liked learning that fun fact and other ones like it, make sure you like or subscribe or follow us so that you can get notified when we post more content. We'll see you next week.